Phoebe Dinova won't be appearing in season three, and the real reason behind this is devastating. Phoebe Dinova, who has been an essential part of Bridgerton since season one, is moving on, and that's because she wants to have enough time for a new TV series titled Exciting Times, and that'll be airing on Amazon Prime Video. The actress broke her silence on if she would be returning to Bridgerton when she said, sadly, not in season three, potentially in the future, but in season three, I'm just excited to watch as a viewer. Also before now, fans have started to make theories on how Phoebe might not reprise her role as Daphne in Bridgerton 3. And this was based primarily on the fact that the actress hasn't been seen in any Bridgerton 3 behind-the-scenes clips. And now, the reason why Phoebe hasn't been on the set of Bridgerton ever since the production started is more distinct, and that makes it clear that the actress is busy with something else. But then, this has been expected right from when season 2 dropped. Phoebe was one of the cast that viewers got introduced in Bridgerton 1, when she got to play Daphne. Phoebe and Rega John Page set up all these love and romantic standards that Bridgerton follows now. So they introduced many viewers to the glamorous ton of society, and showed how marriage could be perfect and impossible perfect simultaneously. But unfortunately, this experience that Phoebe enjoyed taking viewers through was only limited to season one. And when season two came on board, Phoebe's role got reduced to taking the back seat. Unlike when Daphne was excited for a romance, she became an experienced woman who could do nothing but watch her brother Anthony and Kate bloom in love while offering her advice when required. This sort of transition for Phoebe's character isn't usually easy on actors at times, and it's also scarce because usually main actors get their roles expanded and improved, but with how Bridgerton is, there can only be a star at a time, and Phoebe already shined. And when her roles started getting reduced, she had to take on another job that would make her a main character again. Honestly, there's nothing much for Phoebe again in Bridgerton, because even if she had stayed to continue her season 2 arc in season 3, it would have become very dull for the actress to play and the viewers to watch. Imagine having Daphne star advising Colin again after she did the same with Anthony. Of course, bits of advice are always golden and essential, especially regarding heart matters and feelings. Still, season 2 could have been the time for Daphne to focus on her family, and season 3 will have to excuse her and allow a newly married Bridgerton like Anthony to come through for Colin. One thing is clear enough though, Bridgerton may not have planned to have her position in the series reduced, but they had no choice. Phoebe's character Daphne was dependent on the Duke of Hastings role, and the actor behind that already bowed out of the show without looking back ever since. If the Duke had been present in season 2, the story would have been slightly different, because Bridgerton would make sure to explore more complicated parts of their marriage. For instance, many fans will never get to see how the Duke acts as a father to their baby, despite being the one who was totally against having an heir. So this dynamic could have been interesting to explore, as Phoebe's Daphne will also be more involved in the show. Instead of being someone who only shares words of wisdom on marriages, she could get tasked to solve some more challenges in her marriage. Phoebe once spoke about how awkward it was for her to go from being a main cast member in Bridgerton to becoming less involved. And she mentioned that she was taking it well. At the time, she said, It's definitely different, but I think that's honestly the joy of the show in the long term, getting to see these different love stories play out. So Reggie John Page was the first to leave, and as his on-screen wife, it would be disappointing for Phoebe's Daphne to show up again without her husband, but with another flimsy excuse for his absence. The way Reggie John Page, who is now known as the most handsome man in the world, left the Bridgerton series after season one is almost similar to how Phoebe bowed out. Page left because he didn't like what was planned for his character in season two, and because he stood by what the show's creator told him before he took the job, which was that his character, Simon, was a one-season arc. Page was told that Bridgerton one would have a beginning and an end, which sounded okay, and he took the role to do his part based on these conditions. The actor spoke at the time, saying, I thought, that's interesting, because then it felt like a limited series. I get to come in, contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. But then, even the show's creators and Paige didn't know that Paige would be accepted and cherished by many viewers. He was approached to continue, and was offered a lot more to appear, but the actor wasn't interested. The actor got a deal to show up as a guest in about three to five episodes for $50,000 per episode. But Paige wasn't happy about it mainly because he wasn't keen to keep being the main cast, so there was no point in him returning. Many fans were disappointed because Bridgerton made Paige famous, and they even thought the show would never remain the same without the Duke, which later became false. Even the show's executive producer and creator Shonda Rhimes was quite surprised at how the fans were left heartbroken following his exit from the series. And Rhimes said that reaction 
only happens when she gets rid of a fan favorite character that's been around for so long. But in this case, the Duke was still alive. Rhymes added that they only hired Paige for one season and made sure his character, Duke and Daphne, got their happy ending. And the only reason they offered a new deal to Paige was mainly because of the fans, as they tried to keep him for every viewer who was finding it hard to let go. Aside from that, there was nothing to do with the character again. However, in some ways, Phoebe's exit looks different from how Paige left, and that's because the actress said she could still go back for future seasons of Bridgerton. She mentioned how her character is only meant for two seasons and maybe more when she said, well, I did my two seasons. I've done what I wanted to do with that character, and she had a great arc. If they ask me back in the future, who knows? So even if Phoebe leaves now and won't appear in season three, it is still possible to see her in future seasons where something more important would be needed for her role. But for Paige, there's no hope that the actor will return in future seasons of Bridgerton as he has made his mind up. The actor who refused to show up in season two told Bridgerton that he was okay to have his role recast. He didn't care what they did with his character, as he sounded convinced when he said that Bridgerton was free to do whatever they liked. While Paige might be less concerned, Phoebe isn't closing all doors and throwing out the keys when it comes to this series. If the future opens up another chance for her in the show and she's available, she wouldn't mind returning to her role. So Daphne's fans shouldn't be so sad because there is hope that the viewers will see her again. However, Kate Sharma and Anthony Bridgerton will be the couple that fans wish the Duke and Daphne were, which means they will be very much around in season three, even though they would also get reduced screen time. And what makes this even better is they will come back together, which makes all the difference that Daphne and Simon couldn't make. The actress who plays Kate, Simone Ashley, said that she and Jonathan Bailey, who betrays Anthony, will return. They wouldn't just be returning to guide their younger ones in love affairs, but also to show more of the romantic side after marriage to fans. The joy in Simone being proud to return romantically is because she would be doing it with Jonathan. And so this Bridgerton couple doesn't get to be in the back seat as sometimes they might be all that's needed to drive the show and make the viewers glued. So even though Phoebe is leaving just the way that Paige left, they might not be missed so much because Simone and Jonathan got plenty of vibes to cover up their absence, which will be interesting. After becoming recognized through Bridgerton, Phoebe will now get to play the main lead of Exciting Times, Ava. The show will be based on Nisha Dolan's novel and focuses on a 22-year-old Ava that Phoebe is going to portray. And when Ava moves abroad to teach English grammar to a wealthy family's children, she gets involved in a complicated situation she never planned for, which is getting into a love triangle with banker Julian and lawyer Edith. According to IMDb, the show Exciting Times is developing, so it might be in the filming process. Since Bridgerton 3 is also in production at the same time, then the actress had to choose one due to scheduling conflicts and getting a lead role in an upcoming TV show sounds like the better option. So, what do you think about Phoebe Dinova leaving a season after Reggae Jean Page left? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.